As I already mentioned you, there is uh, tons of methodological guidelines when it comes to research. And you as a researcher have to position yourself on a one specific place, you know, find the right methodologies to execute on your research idea. In this video, we are going to learn about what we call the nature of research, which is another part of this global stratification of uh, guidelines. Now we will have three choices. You can go for exploratory nature, descriptive nature, or explanatory nature of your research. Let's start with the exploratory nature of the research. I think you can guess it correctly from the name that if you are going to have this nature of your research, you are going to explore. And that basically means that you observe some phenomena in the outside world and you as a researcher try to describe it. You try to maybe create some initial models about it. You try to identify some variables. And official definition says that this kind of research um, is the initial research into a hypothetical or theoretical idea of that phenomena which you can observe. Now, again, this kind of research usually goes two ways. One way being taking some well-defined theories which are there for, let's say, years or dozens of years and trying to apply them to this newly emerged phenomena and then you as a researcher try to see, hmm, can these theories fit this phenomena? And another idea can be to really start from the very basics and you try to sort of get your own theories on this new phenomena. And for this, I think I can give you quite a solid example as, as it really touches my bachelor thesis. So when I was writing, I was really interested in what we call software as a service. This is a very specific field nowadays within software industry. And the oldest company within this field is 15 years old. And in academic merits, that is considered super young and no real research has been done in this field. So uh, what we try to do is that um, we took these very basic marketing theories and we tried to apply them into the software as a service field. That didn't work. This field was way too specific to get the use of these marketing theories. So we had to go for the other idea and we needed to develop our own theories. And it was really hard, but we after all succeeded. And my final advice is, I'm going to now talk about the descriptive and explanatory research, but if you are a university student, most likely your research will be exploratory. So think about it more because that's the most usable and sort of it's the best way to go for you. Second of all, we have the descriptive nature. And again, we have a definition here. This kind of research attempts to explore and explain while providing additional information about the topic. And you already see the word here, additional information about the topic. And the idea is that descriptive research or descriptive nature is kind of higher order. You move from exploratory nature to a descriptive nature. So imagine it this way, someone, maybe it can be you in the past, needs to do the exploratory research first, and then just thanks to those descriptions, those initial ideas, you can move to a descriptive nature. Now with descriptive nature, these researches are often having a lot of data gathered. So um, maybe now we are thinking, why do we have to do the exploratory research first and just then we can go to descriptive research, which will really give us the solid information and ideas about this phenomena. Now, um, I will explain it to you this way. You need, as I said, you need to gather a lot of data for descriptive research. Someone needs to tell you what kind of data you should be collecting. So someone else who has done the work previously will tell you, okay, maybe you should look at this aspect, this one, and this one, and thanks to that, you will do your descriptive research properly. So as you see, these are building on each other. Lastly, we have the explanatory nature. Again, let's start with the definition. This kind of research tries to explain relationships between variables. This is the highest order research. It lies about both exploratory and descriptive. And again, let's summarize it a bit. So the exploratory nature identified some variables within that phenomena. Then descriptive research was maybe able to draw some correlations between these variables. But we all know that correlation doesn't imply causality. Now that will be a task for explanatory uh, research. This kind of research will really try to explain why things happen. 
and that is really hard. And I often see these kind of researches for PhD students who are out there. So if you are a bachelor or master degree student, you shouldn't really aim for the explanatory research. These ones are really tricky. Now, a last and very important point. Uh, later on, we will be talking about research questions and research objectives. There are certain question types which are connected with the nature of the research. If you are going to do exploratory research, most likely your research question is going to be starting with what? And that makes sense. Think about it. In the, you are trying to explore something, so you're asking yourself a question, what is happening in there? Now, if you're going to do the descriptive research, your research question is most likely going to start with the word how. That again makes a very logical sense. How do these things work together? And with the explanatory research, your research question might be starting as why. Because again, that makes a lot of sense. You are trying to explain why those things are happening.